Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your Zeus diagnostic tool and covers the use of scanner data in graphing view. I'm Jim Moretz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. Monitoring data parameters from the Vehicle Electronic Control Module, or ECM, is extremely helpful when tracking down vehicle faults. A numeric view of parameter ID, or PID data, will not always reveal problems or show relationships between PIDs. Graphing relationships between data parameters gives you a view of performance over time and enables you to compare multiple data parameters. Data graphing can show momentary failures and data trends over time. Select the Expand Collapse icon to open the data graph for the parameter. The graph provides a large number of data points plotted so that you can compare events over time. The tool continuously records data for all available parameters. From 1 to 16 graphs can be displayed, allowing you to view relationships between components. The min and max values show the current, maximum, and minimum data values. These values are stored even after the data has scrolled off the screen. Select the PID menu icon to display the PID menu. Then select Full Screen Graph to view the PID in full screen. Use the menu icon again to select Normal Graph to return to the standard view. Selecting the Properties button allows you to customize the colors, settings, and sweep of the graph display. Using a PID trigger allows you to capture data that is outside of normal range by setting upper and lower values to start recording data when the signal crosses them. To set up the trigger, select the PID menu icon, then select Setup. From the Graph Properties dialog box, select Trigger On. A check mark appears and the min and max fields activate. Enter the desired trigger value into each field. A reminder note about making sure to arm the trigger is also displayed. We'll get to arming the trigger in a minute. Select Save to close the dialog box. The dashed red trigger lines now appear on the selected graph. The area between the upper and lower trigger lines establishes the triggering conditions. Data points that fall outside of these limits will trigger the recording. Notice the flashing snapshot icon. This indicates the trigger is not armed. Select the snapshot icon to arm the trigger. Notice that it stopped flashing. This lets you know the trigger is armed and ready to record. Remember that the snapshot icon arms and disarms all PIDs with triggers. So if you set more than one trigger, this will turn them all on or off at the same time. In our example, the upper limit was exceeded and activated the trigger. When the trigger was activated, a data snapshot or movie was captured and a message displayed. Notice the red flag, red PID text, and red marker showing where the value was exceeded. These make it easier to see in the PID list. The zoom option allows you to change the magnification level of the sweep. Select the plus button to zoom in and increase the magnification. Select the minus button to zoom out and decrease the magnification. The save icon saves the current screen information along with all data stored in the buffer. The recorded data movie is automatically saved. Select the Data Manager icon on the home screen. Select Scanner Data Folder. Choose the data movie you want to see. Use the green arrow icon to play the entire movie, or use the scroll buttons to scroll forward and back through the collected data. Scroll down to view more data parameters. 
Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next great product from Snap-on.